Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. After gluing all my pulpits using the steel blue, now you will see the making of the washboard. I make two washboards, one with plexiglass and one like was original. And it's quite long work to do. I spent two years to prepare, but now is the moment to install it because I want to close the board because it's start to install electric and electronics. So enjoy this episode. I'm sorry for light publish, but I was very busy. I started last year with Franco to prepare the base of the washboard. I use a five millimeter ticket and glue with epoxy. And now this is the cutting of the first one. We took the original washboard and we use it as a template. After that, we cut exactly in the same dimension. To make this uh, type of task, Piero is a very helpful hand. He has a lot of experience and he built a lot of boards, so he knows exactly how to deal with uh, uh, the washboard. He already made my two old uh, washboard in the previous board, Marion 26, and now we replay all the works. So we already cut the piece of ticks and now we take the measure of everything before cut and glue it all together. When I decide to make the brand new washboard, I decide to use in the lower part the good quality marine plywood veneered with 5 mm of tick each side of the washboard. But the two upper part of the washboard I use only solid teak. Piero used these tools made by Festol to make the hole to insert the piece that join all together the washboard. You can see here the result using this tool made by Festol. Now Spiero is insert the piece of wood that will keep all the washboard together, but later we will uh, glue with epoxy resin. We start to test if all the holes are correct and we join without gluing. It's not a piece of cake to make this type of work. You need to be very precise and I'm not very precise. I need the experience of Piero that uh, uh, you know very well how to deal with this type of stuff. We need to clamp the washboard and test the central part of the washboard because in the upper side, the bigger one, we need to insert the K and the locking system. I use a very nice locking system that I can close from inside. A precise cut. You can make wrong. If I make wrong, I completely ruin the work that I previously did.
double checking. Uh, we need to cut out a two millimeter to fit perfectly the middle of the washboard. And here we are. Yes, fit perfect. Yes, we like it. It's all perfect, all completely joined. You can see the row system, but soon you will see the finished one. We came back to Piero House and we start to prepare the epoxy for gluing. It was a very hot day, so the epoxy start to cure very fast. For this type of work, I use the epoxy resin of Cheki, for me the best one. It's like a puzzle, we need to make the final image join all the pieces together. Using a small brush, we spread the epoxy and we start to build my new washboard. I fight normally with Piero because he uses a very correct quantity of glue, but me normally I use a lot of glue that spread everywhere. So anytime I work with Piero, I always argue with him. I say, please put more glue. He say, no, it's enough. Don't use more because after that you need to send the tick. Oh, 90% Piero wing. You never stop to learn from the master and I try to do the best. Piero now is clamped all the washboard and check the measure and you can see the result. I made two washboard, the original one you can see, and another one with the plexiglass so I can use when I sailing, I can see from inside to outside. I always use two washboard because I prefer get two type of uh, different to use in different situation. Coming back to Franco Factory, Micheles is helping me to cut the correct size of the washboard and this is the square one, but after that I need to cut with the correct inclination. And here we are, the plexiglass on the left and the original one on the right. We check the length and the inclination. Yes, they are the same. Cristina. And now is the time to cut the small piece of tick that made the roller shooter. I tested the first one and after that, when correct, we cut all the other ones. Okay, now I need to test them and insert in the space. I need to use some, some paper because they are a little bigger and I need to round the angles. So it's more easy to insert them in the correct positions. This type of test is uh, very important because you can't uh, prepare everything and glue it straight away. You need to test, check everything is correct and after that you start to glue. So this is the first step, checking. Finally I finished my work and here we are.
And now is the time to cut the central part of the second washboard and then insert the piece of plexiglass that will act as a window. Edoardo, after insert all the measure and the data in the milling machine, the CNC electronic milling machine, prepare the base and we start to cut the washboard. Eduardo is change the cutting uh, tools and start. I make this type of gut because I have the space to spread the silicone very well. As normally, Eduardo makes a perfect wall. The plexiglass is completely flat because after that I will use a frame to block it in his position. And here is the result you will see soon. It's arrived the time to prepare the washboard for the entrance of fellows. And now I need to test the original one because I need to cut the new one just there. And after that glue all the piece of tick there. This is the old one, you can see, completely ruined. And I discovered there is some space here, so I can come more wider. And now I need to check the thick of this one just inside here. The thick is quite less than the original one, so now I cut the washboard in the correct angle and the correct inclination and after that I will test on site if it works very well. For sure I need to make a small modification on the border to make more thick but nothing special. Now in this um, video you can see uh, Michele is cutting the washboard with the original inclination that was the original piece. I need to reproduce very well the new pieces as was original, so we pay a lot of attention also in the inclination of the end of the washboard. This is the test, I will check, yes, quite perfect. We go with the original piece and we cut. Another very important operation is to sand the edge of the washboard with sandpaper to prevent that the tick from breaking when tested. I made a small mistake when I cut the pieces of tick that compose the washboard. The lower one is perfect, correct thickness. The superior uh, quite uh, less thicker, so I need to make a modification when finished to get the correct fittings. Nothing difficult, but it's quite boring. But you know, when you work, you always make a mistake. People doesn't work, doesn't make a mistake. Before gluing the piece of tick that make the main washboard, I have to check that they fit perfectly. After that, I will proceed to glue them with epoxy resin. I use a tick powder mixed with epoxy to get the perfect matching color for the washboard. And here we are, we start to gluing the piece in position. You need to pay a lot of attention that they need to perfectly fit the space and stay completely parallel to the back of the washboard. Yes, I spent an hour to insert all those pieces of tick, checking, cleaning and correct uh, position. Whoa. I think I don't do it again this work, so don't ask me to make one for you. 
Costo match. <laughs> The job is done, now I'm checking that all pieces of stick are perfectly aligned on the frame and after that I will wait that the epoxy cure to be sure that uh, the piece of stick stay in position I use a heavy weight on it and I leave that for one day Okay, tomorrow we'll be ready. And the day after, all ready. And now we cut all the washboard with inclination that could fit perfectly uh, the entrance of Phallos. This is my preferred sport, sanding, sanding, glorious, glorious sanding. It's completely wild cut. This is the external. And I need to make the hole for the locker. And I make the frame all around. That this is the frame. That we need to build all around. Now we're testing the board. I also in this case asked to Piero to come to power plant to help me in this task, checking if all is okay and make the uh, following uh, modification that permit the washboard to fit perfectly. We discovered that was not very aligned the hatch of the entrance of Alos. There is a difference in height you can see here. I have two millimeters on the port side respect on the starboard side so we need to make some modification but I don't want to cut the washboard because they are very very well done but we need in this case to work on the base of the entrance of Alos. Piero is a chisel wizard and therefore very careful he removed some thick wood at the base trying to align the washboard. There was about two millimeter difference in height from the port to the starboard side, just on the base of the entrance of Phallos. So we correct this uh, problem and at the end all work well. Sometimes you need a very uh, skilled professionist that make this work. Really, I don't figure out how to fix this problem, then send the upper uh, washboard and creating a very bad, bad uh, result. With this type of chisel, Piero cut a good quantity of uh, thick and we went very well at the end of this operation. The second attempt, yes, fit perfect. You can see there is no more space. The correct two millimeter for each side, port to starboard side. 
and now we test the second on the upper washboard and check if the aperture of the hatch will close. Still little to cut on the base, but we are very close to end of the job. Little more tick to take out. And here we go, you can see the final result, all perfect. We finally align all the washboard. So guys, this is the first part of the making of washboard. Very soon you will see the second part. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you like it and I wait your comment. So write your comment. I would like personally reply to you. And if you like my video, remember always to leave thumb up. Thank we'll see you. in the next episode. For the moment is all. And Gabriele say hi.